Hey, what's up guys, Victor with Phone Arena here and Google has unveiled a new version of Android. It's known by its code name, Android O, and it brings a ton of new features, but what does O stand for? Well, nobody knows at the moment. It could be Oreo, it could be something else, but it would be something sweet. Pick your guess in the comments right below. So what is this new version all about and what improvements does it bring to the table? Let's get started and let's find out. Now first, the Android O update is all about the battery. Now Google has long been trying to improve battery life on its Android operating system and is taking this effort to the next level with Android O. The biggest thing about this release is that it will limit the background operations in an app, meaning that apps will go to sleep more often and they won't be able to use your battery as much as they could before with a random location checking in the background and stuff like that. And this is actually an improvement on previous efforts by Google with the those and those on the go features. So expect to see a further bump in battery longevity on the Android O release. Secondly, Google is bringing something that it calls notification channels and it basically is a more refined way of handling notifications and Google's Android is really in the lead when it comes to handling notifications. Now, it brought bundled notifications and quick replies with Android 7.0 Nougat and with Android O, it further segments this and allows you to uh, select which kinds of uh, notifications will get through and you can specify this to the very very fine level and this is what notification channels will be all about. Next up we have Autofill APIs and this basically is a nice way of Google allowing the system to automatically fill passwords for you and fill, do it quickly and securely and this is a, a quick time saver for those who have longer passwords. Google is hearing your uh, struggles and this will allow you to quick, quickly input your passwords. Next up, we have a new picture in picture mode that, that is native for the system and allows you to basically play a video in a small window on top of everything that you're doing. So the video gets to play in the background and you get to do what you do. So you boost your productivity this way. This is a nice uh, little feature that has been available on some other phones, but now it's available natively in Android O. Next up, we have adaptive icons. Now, uh, some phones feature round icons, some phones feature square icons, and this can turn up a bit of a mess when you have different styles of icons in your home screen. Now, basically, Google fixes this with the new adaptive icons uh, paradigm that allows developers to, to create different styles of icons that will appear like if you have a device that uses round icons like the Google Pixel series, then all of the icons will be round, which is a nice way to unify the look. The new Android O release will also supply wide gamut color displays and this will allow for native support for different uh, wider color formats, something that we've seen on Apple devices in the past. Like the, the new iPhone support the wider P3 color gamut that brings out really a lot of the liveliness out of the color and you will have this option in Android O as well. You also have new Bluetooth codecs with Android O and this will support higher quality Bluetooth and wireless audio transfer. So if you have those Bluetooth headphones that are really trendy right now, you'll be able to enjoy the best sound quality out of them, which is really a great thing to have. Last but not least, Android O also adds supports for uh, keyboards, native supports for Android keyboards, which will boost productivity on all sorts of devices, not just on phones, but also on tablets. And these are just some of the improvements that come with this new version of Android, which will probably ship late this year, but uh, an early beta of the developer release is already available and you can check it out. And for more details, make sure to go to phonearena.com, see all the new Android all features. Let us know which of these two features seems like the most important one for you. Thanks for watching.